Hey everybody, welcome to In the Bottle. I'm your host, Sandy. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Got three red wines today. Uh, first one is from our friends at Bonnie Dune Vineyards. It's their 2009 Tantra. It's an old vine field blend. Randall Graham, very well known and well respected winemaker at Bonnie Dune. Um, doing a great job there. Got his start working at the wine merchant in LA. And decided to go make some wine, tried to make the great American Pinot Noir um, up in Santa Cruz when he realized that the uh, Pinot Noir didn't grow as well as he had hoped it would up there. He started looking to their own uh, varieties that did better in that climate and that terroir, uh, the Central Coast. Uh, this is a Central Coast uh, wine, but a good majority of it comes from Contra Costa County, hence the name. It's a blend of a little bit more than half. Uh, Carignan with Mavedra, Syrah, Grenache, Zinfandel, and a little bit of Petit Syrah in there. Uh, they make about 6,900 cases of it. Nice wine, get a little bit of tobacco, good fruit on there. A little spicy, fruit definitely shows through. A little black pepper, nice wine. Medium bodied. Retails for about $20, depending upon where you can find it. Heading now over to Spain, We've got a couple of wines from the La Mancha region. First one is the uh, Campo Reales Tempranillo. It's a 2011 vintage, um, aged in stainless steel. Uh, about 4,000 cases come into the United States of it. For, of it. Um, it retails for about 12 to 15 dollars, as does our next Spanish wine. Uh, it's a young wine, a little bit grapey, a lot of dark fruit, a lot of dark berries on there. Some licorice, chocolate, medium bodied. Good wine to drink by itself, or I'm sure it would go well with some food. Real nice, pleasant wine from Campo Reales. Uh, our next wine from La Mancha is the 2010 Protocolo. Again, 100% Tempranillo. This one's aged three months in American oak. That is one or three years old American oak. Uh, the vineyards are in the southeast part of La Mancha at an elevation of about 2,700 feet, a lot of clay and limestone in the vineyards, a lot of warm days and cool nights there in La Mancha. Nice pretty nose. A little floor body, a little drier. It does have some good fruit, nice complexity and character. Some tannins from the oak that adds to it. I feel like coating the mouth. About 15,000 cases come into the United States of this wine, and it too retails for about $12 to $15, making for a good value wine. Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you next time on In the Bottle. Have a great day.